fifth finalist is Lisa Heiberg, CEO of Extreme Media and Riley. So, you want to start your own business, but you're not sure if you want to take the risk, or you want to expand your business, and you're in the same predicament. I've been faced with this decision twice. Fifteen years ago, I had a corporate job with a Fortune 500 company that provided me a salary, insurance, and even a pension. But I, just, I was presented with the opportunity to take the leap of faith and start my own business in an emerging industry that very few women participated in. So again, in 2013, when looking for ways to bring more services to our current and new clients, I was presented with the opportunity to bring in a new partner who had the skills that we were missing. Scary? Yes. I could have stayed where it was safe, but if I had, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. I knew I could always go back to that corporate job, but I would probably not get another chance to see if my business idea would work, or later to add the level of industry knowledge that my new partner would bring to my company. So flash back to the 1960s in Taylorsville, and I know some of you can think back that far. The, there was a little girl growing up in a small business that her parents had started in 1952. From a very early age, I learned what it meant to be an entrepreneur. Long hours, few vacations, but the pride that you were able to provide a product or service to someone who needed it. In addition to the business training, I also learned what community service meant. My dad served on the Taylorsville City Council for 42 years, giving back to the community that supported his business. He turned his seat over to my mom just six weeks prior to his death. And then there's my mom, who at age 84 still runs that business six days a week. So fast forward to 2015. It's been 15 years since I was faced with that decision of whether to stay corporate or start my own business, and I have not had to go back to that corporate job. As for the new partner, we launched a new company at the end of 2013 that is now winning awards and top contracts for digital branding and marketing. Our staff has grown from 5 to 13 in the past year and a half, and I also have the time or find the time to serve on two community boards one nonprofit board, one corporate board, following in my dad's footsteps of giving back. It's all thanks to my husband, Greg, who encouraged me to take the chance on the new venture. My new partner, Pip Pullen, who encouraged me to take a chance on him, and if you know him, you would know what a big chance that is. <laughs> my children, Brittany and Ian, who put up with their mom starting and running a company and a fantastic staff and clients who make it fun to come to work every day and without whom I would not be here this evening. But most importantly, to my parents who taught me what entrepreneurship and community service is all about. So if you're struggling with whether you want to take the risk or to play it safe, all I can say is take that risk and don't look back because you'll always be wondering what if, if you don't. Thank you so much.